In 1194 BCE, the Grand Achaean fleet had swarmed the Aegean Sea and moved towards the northwestern Anatolia, marking the beginning of the legendary Trojan War. Before reaching the region of Troy, the Achaeans took the nearby island of Tenedos, which was accomplished by defeating the king Tenes, who was slain by Achilles. The Achaean prince of Maliboya, Philoctetes, was bitten by a snake, which caused a bad smell coming out of the wound. The Achaean seers obviously saw this as another sign of gods and Philoctetes was ordered to base himself at the nearby island of Lemnos and stay there with a few of his followers, separated from the rest of the army. This Philoctetes possessed the bow and arrow of Heracles, given by the legendary hero to Philoctetes' father in the past. It was said that Troy could not fall without the weapons of Heracles, a man who had sacked the legendary city in the past. Everything was now ready for the Achaean invasion of the Trojan coast. The Trojan defense was commanded by Hector, who sallied out with his warriors and prepared for battle. The battle of the Trojan beach started with a single combat between Hector and an Achaean prince Protesilaus, the leader of the Philakian contingent. The Trojan leader quickly demonstrated his prowess as Protesilaus was defeated and slain. A very tough battle followed where numerous frontline Achaean warriors had fallen. Ultimately, the Greeks managed to push the Trojan army away and successfully occupied the coast of Troad. The Achaean war camp was quickly ordered to be built in the close proximity of the beach, with the walls and trenches being set up to protect the new Achaean base of operations. This was a massive blow for the Trojans, who now had an enemy camp installed just a few miles from their city. The second Trojan attack soon followed, with the significant losses on both sides. Achilles managed to distinguish himself in this battle, routing the Trojans with his Myrmidons. He met face to face with Caecnas, a Trojan captain and ruler of the city of Colonae. The Greek hero emerged victorious, killing his Trojan enemy. Ultimately, the Trojans were defeated and were forced to flee and withdraw inside the safety of their walls. The Achaeans were now able to seize control of the entrance of the Dardanelles, while the Trojans still controlled the narrow point at Abydos and Cestus, keeping their supply routes with Europe intact, as well as maintaining communications with Inner Asia Minor to the east. The Greeks were now in a strange position, still unable to decisively defeat or completely besiege the Trojans despite proving to be superior on the battlefield. The walls of Troy were considered impregnable and were so impressive that they were said to have been built by gods Poseidon and Apollo themselves. It was clear that the war would not end quickly, and the only logical thing that the Achaeans could do next was resort to fighting the Trojan allies. In the following months and years, the Achaean army was not able to lure the Trojans into an open battle. The Achaeans then split into various contingents directed towards the allies of Troy in Asia Minor and Europe. Achilles was the most prominent in these campaigns, once again proving himself as the prime hero of the Achaeans. The city kingdom of Dardanus 
was located to the north of Troy and its forces were a part of the Trojan army. Achilles' Myrmidons proved to be supreme on the battlefield once again, but were not able to break into the city. Instead, Achilles raided and pillaged the area, eventually turning his attention southwards. Together with another Achaean contingent, Achilles invaded and seized the city of Colonae, the same city whose ruler, Caiconus, was previously killed by Achilles in the Battle of the Trojan Beach. Achilles and his soldiers then proceeded further south to Pedasus, which was captured after a short battle. After seeing one city fall after another, a Trojan contingent was dispatched under Troilus, a Trojan prince and the son of Priam. Obviously this was a mistake, as young Troilus nor his army were no match for the experience of Achilles and his companions. Army under Troilus was ambushed and killed by Achilles and his men, causing another significant blow to the Trojans. The Trojan possessions in the south were now left unprotected and Achilles moved towards the Gulf of Adrimitian. The city of Thebae was conquered virtually unopposed. Among the captured was Chryseis, a daughter of a leading Trojan priest, which was awarded to King Agamemnon. Achilles then attacked the city of Lyrnesos, but faced resistance led by its king, Mines. Ultimately, the Lyrnesenians could not hold the Myrmidons for long, and any resistance was soon crushed, with King Mines being among the fallen. The late king's wife, Briseis was captured by Achilles as a spoil of war. Achilles also managed to capture Lycaon, one of the sons of Priam, and sold the Trojan prince into slavery on a market established on the island of Lemnos. The island was basically controlled by the Achaeans, with the Achaean prince Philoctetes still stationed there because of a snake bite. Achilles would continue the successful campaign, capturing the island of Lesbos and then organizing an expedition into Maeonia, one of the most important Trojan allies. In the meantime, Ajax the Great was in charge of an expedition into Thracia, where King Polymaster was a ruler. Polymaster was King Priam's son-in-law, having married his oldest daughter, Ilione. Upon hearing that the Achaean army has arrived to Thracia, he immediately opened negotiations, offering Ajax gold, and even surrendered Polydorus, one of Priam's sons who was a guest on Polymaster's court. Ajax then moved to the territory of Phrygia, one of the major Trojan allies. At the time, Phrygia was not a unified state, but rather consisted of several smaller regions ruled by their local kings. One of those rulers was King Teleutas, lord of a Phrygian city towards the Black Sea coast. As soon as the Achaean fleet under Ajax arrived, King Teleutas gathered his forces and marched to confront the Greek hero. After an inconclusive battle, it was agreed that the conflict would be resolved by a single combat. Prideful King Teleutas decided to fight Ajax the Great himself, with the winner taking the spoils of war as he wished. Although Teleutas was a skilled warrior, he was no match for one of the greatest Achaean warriors. Ajax emerged victorious, killing the Phrygian king and taking his daughter Tecmessa as a trophy. 
However, the situation in the Achaean camp was not great by any means. General lack of resources and nine years spent in foreign land left many of the Achaean soldiers deeply unhappy. In the ninth year since the landing on the Trojan beach, the Achaean army mutinated against King Agamemnon, demanding to return home. Please consider subscribing and sharing the video, as this is a one-person production and it greatly helps the visibility of the channel. Special thanks to History with Sai, Nico, Panayotis Yanopoulos, Fred Lecky and the State Care for their continuous support. If you wish to become a Patreon member, please click the link in the video description. This was 1XTV and we'll see you again soon.